Uh, it's been a what's the right word? Uh, an interesting week, you know. After the lows of last week, getting lads back up for you know for a game, um, you know that were an interesting challenge. But I, you know, I thought half time we were right in it. Um, you know, and even once we scored that try in second half, for oh, it's game on here. But unfortunately, I thought, um, you know, okay, I stepped on gas a little bit, and uh, yeah, I don't think it was through lack of effort. I think it was more uh, the quality that came through. You know, that's why they're pushing for, um, you know, fourth place, and uh, and we've been relegated. So, um, you know, I, I I can't really fault anyone um, in terms of not being up for a game. I just thought we got outclassed at times in certain areas of the game. Uh, but one thing I'm I'm really proud of, I thought all debutants went well. I thought Oli Pratt, you know, 80 minutes in centre against some quality opposition like that showed up really well. Um, you know, Harvey Smith came on and showed a little bit what he can do. I mean, he had school this morning, um, <laughs> you know, and then straight into Super League on there. He's, He's all right for 17 years old. He's got a bright future as well. And then Jordan Schofield thought I moved himself physically uh, really well at middle too. So, um, yeah, not end. We wanted to go out on year four, but, um, you know, really proud of them three that's made the debut. And, you know, Will Dagger shouldn't have played in terms of he's, he's had pain killing injections to get through with Mason pulling out at last minute. Um, you know, so some of them lads have got some proper character about them. You know, we've just been... Um, outclassed at times throughout the year as a team but I'm never going to question the, you know, the character in, in terms of that squad in there but you know, that's rugby league isn't it Was there an element of it turning on the match to Alex Simbin or it started to turn uh, on the You know what I'd rather not you know, chat about that side of it um, I'd rather just focus on all those you know, you're always going to come away from a game if you've won it you kind of you know you come away leaning <coughs> more towards the um, you know, it were you that's been good, and then sometimes once you've lost it, it's easy to blame others. But nine out of ten times, if you look at yourself, you can find can find answer there, can't you? So, um, yeah, as I say, I'm not going to question anyone's uh, character or guts. I just thought, okay, I showed why the you know I think they finished fourth now. If I'm right, they've showed why they deserve to be fourth in league. You know, they're a quality outfit, and um, you know they were obviously playing for that fourth spot, and I think that last twenty, um, you know, it showed. You talked about pride and professionalism quite a bit during the week. You thought as well you got that from the team to Yeah, I do, yeah. I, I just thought that scoreline blew out, obviously, in the second half. Um, you know, I think I think Simbin in, is when the tries started scoring. And as I said, you, you come up against quality opposition like OKR, uh, very well coached. Um, you know, we were committing free in attack, we were trying to get message on just to commit two so that we could get numbers back in line. And they're a very good outfit that spot. You know, when you haven't got your numbers right. I mean, there was one time I think Mikey broke through. We had two defenders on five attackers, um, you know, and they manipulated it perfectly how they went. So, um, yeah, definitely not going to knock anyone for for uh, professionalism. I just thought we got outclassed by a, a quality outfit in that last 20, especially. Just reflected on the season as a whole, yeah. just how big uh, a task was it looking back to the start of the season? Um, listen, I don't want to be disrespectful to. Um, to anyone that's put a shirt on this year, like you know, one thing, anyone that goes out and plays a game in rugby league, um, you know, they've got to earn earn your respect. It's a tough, tough game to play. Um, we knew we couldn't afford to have injuries to our main squad this year in terms of how skinny we were in terms of depth. Um, you know, obviously, we got a few for different reasons. Um, and I think it showed, you know, I, if you look at positives from it, there's a lot of young lads that have got experience that probably wouldn't have had experience or as much of it. Um, you know, and people have uh, learned a lot about themselves in pretty difficult circumstances. I definitely have. Uh, as I say, if people want to blame someone for Wakefield Trinity's relegation, then blame me. Um, as I said over there, I'm not saying that for any other reason. I'm head coach and Burden does stop with me, but... Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of um, stuff happening, you know, behind the scenes at the club. And one thing that I think as fans can be rest assured in is when some announcements come over the next few weeks that, um, you know, Wakefield Trinity is going to be uh, back up in, in the top league and they'll, they'll progress. I've got no doubts about that. So, um, yeah, it's a difficult year, but as I said, all, all, all year it's part and parcel of coaching. It's, you know, 
sometimes you just got to take your medicine, take it on your chin, learn your lessons, and in other years, um, you know, you can bask in your glory, but yeah, this year's definitely not one of them. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the next question, isn't it? You know, as far as the fans are concerned yeah. about, you know, when the announcements are likely to come. Yeah. Uh, takeover. Yeah. Head coach, yeah. squad for next season. How's that likely to pan out? How's um, other fans like to hear? Yeah, well, that's not my question to answer. And uh, you know, I tried alluding to that yesterday. It's above me. Is that that's for bars? I'm sure. You know, in the very near future, there'll be some announcements. Um, you know, now that last game's over way, and um, you know, things will be cleared up on that that side of it all. But. Um, yeah, I think, you know, fans of Wakefield Trinity, listen, if, if they want to blame someone, blame me. Um, but the club's long-term health, I've got no doubts about it. It will be healthy over the next five to ten years. This club will go places. I've got no doubts about that. For you, Mark, how important has it been that, you know, we see coaches come and go all the time. And see, yeah. You had that all for at the start of the season, but the, the club have kept faithfully throughout the season. Yeah, uh, when I first took job on... Um, Michael and John, you know, they, they told me exactly what to expect this year and, you know, we knew if we if we got a few uh, key injuries in key positions, we um, would be exposed and, um, you know, I think, I think we're the worst team in the league for naming different combinations and it's 1-6, 7-9, uh, 1-6 and 7 definitely, but, um, you know, it is what it is, as I said, there'll be some young lads that's learned some lessons about themselves. Um, We've give some experience to some lads that might not have got as much, and then um, you know you've just got to deal down that you've dealt. I, I said right at the start, I'd be a, a fool to turn it down. You know these opportunities, whether you, you've got a good hand or a bad hand, they don't come around often. But one thing I, I'm really proud of is um, how them lads stuck together right till the end, and I don't think anyone can knock them for that. Um, you know they've learned a lot about the character in, in this season. Um, you know ultimately we've we've come up short, but. How they went about the business up until uh, you know that league game, especially um, you know we're we're right in it, and you know there's a lot of character development that's happened there. So I'm, I'm proud of that in, in terms of how the lads stuck together there and made a fight of it, especially when we were six down and everyone you know did think we were down and out in, in June or whenever it was. The fact you've been around the club so long and, and seen ups yeah. and lots of yeah. downs. You, the fact that you're saying that positive things are coming, that must mean that uh, you're really buying into whatever's coming. Uh, it's not my, as I say, it's not my conversation to have that. I just know that, you know, there'll probably be some announcements uh, coming very soon that, that, you know, should put, I won't say smiles on fan faces, but put some some uh, faith back into, into, into the club. Now, whether people are angry at me, uh, you know, whatever. If the, as I said, if people want to blame someone for this season, blame me. Uh, but in terms of the club, you know, the club's bigger than us all, and um, I think Wakefield Trinity, as I said, over the next five, ten years, especially, there's it's going to be some exciting times. It's going to be a, you know, a year in the the championship at least. But I think personally, this club will uh, bounce straight back and um, you know, go on and do some good things. You keep saying blame you, blame you. How yeah. hard is it to come out and say that? Because obviously people on social media, I don't know, you don't really, yeah, yeah. Are, are quick to criticise. How hard has it been on you this season? And, and oh, coming out and saying that, because people will yeah. keep put the burden well, as soon as possible. That, that's your job as head coach, isn't it? You know, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's hard. It's, it's just what it is, isn't it? it I'm responsible for the team um, that we put out every week. So if people want to go at me I mean most people I, I speak to as I say are pretty um, appreciative of the of the facts um, you know other people if they do want to have a, a pot short fair play I'll, I'll stop and chat to anyone uh, that I see as I say I don't personally read the um, the social media stuff I know it's a massive part of uh, you know today's life but I suppose I was lucky in a way that I grew up in uh, an era before that so I accept it for what it is um, you know I've never took criticism of someone I wouldn't take advice from so most people that I take advice from I'm, I'm either on phone to them or face to face with them so uh, you know they're people that, that count to me um, but as I say if people want to blame someone I'm yeah I'm head coach of Wakefield Trinity so I'll always be tagged with um, you know in their eyes the coach that 
they've got Wakefield Trinity relegated and you know that's part of the, the burden of taking on these jobs isn't it question you might not be able to answer but yeah. do you know what, what's next for Mark Applegast I don't know um, as I say as, as far as I know at the moment I'm still head coach um, you know what happens over the the next few uh, days I suppose is for other people to decide but um, yeah I've, I've, I've not been told any otherwise yet you know as you say um, there's a lot of rumours that may change soon but I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it and up until then I'll carry on doing what I can in the role that I'm employed at and if I get told I'm no longer employed in that role then you know it's it's time to start looking elsewhere but up until then I'll learn you know I'll give it everything I've got to you know to make sure this club's on as good foundation as it can to, to bounce straight back up.